Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective where I review, test out, and demonstrate various VSTs. For this video, I'm going to be reviewing the entire Blue Cat plugin pack. This is a pack of all different effects. So we have a chorus, flanger, free amp, frequency analyzer, gain, phaser, and triple EQ. Now, as you can see, some of them have mono or stereo, even some of them have dual as well. So obviously, as you can see, there's a bunch of different versions of each one. Now, I have my track here called Brazil, so I'm going to play you a little bit of it. I know some shameless self-promotion, but... Kind of like a Brazilian track using the burn bow from Capoeira, and then kind of go from that to this. So kind of like a world music Mumiton record that goes into kind of like an Afro house, tribal house uh, vibe. But anyway, so this is basically the main track that I'm going to be using to see how these all sound. So let's start off at the beginning, right? Now let's try the chorus. So I'm going to put it on stereo. I think that should be a little bit easier. So now we have stereo. So we have this. So even just turning on like that, you can hear it. First up, we have shape. So we have uh, different factory presets. So let's try like harmonizer. No, I might actually... For this video, you know what, I actually might not use a track, now that I think about it, you know, because if I want to, maybe I'll get like a vocal sample. Um, if, what do we have for sample packs? Um, come over. Uh, let's jump this here. These are from like the cinematics. Diamond, ice cold. Should we do ice let's cold? Fall in love. You know, I like that one. I kind of like the jazzy feel of it. So I'm going to actually do that. That may be a little bit easier now. All right, so, you know. Let's fall in love. Is this, yeah. Okay. Let's fall in love. So. Let's fall in love. Really cool, actually. Um, let's try. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. It's actually a very clean chorus. Um, let's do this. I'm gonna do this in case I want to loop it. All right and uh, loop. All right, so uh, so clean chorus two. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Then we try flangey. Let's fall in love. It's pretty cool. Let's do um. I let's do the third plus twelve. Let's fall in love. Ooh, kind of reminds you a little bit of Effect of Mushroom. Let's fall in love. Really, really cool. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. So it's cool. You can kind of create almost your natural own harmonies, uh, with this plugin. I'll just do oscillator. Let's fall in love. Oh, I wonder, wait, good. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. <laughs> so you can mess around with this one a lot. Really the cool chorus plugin. Now moving on, let's go to the flanger now. I'm gonna keep doing stereo. So similar layout, right? We got that green though. Let's fall in love. Let's try more of the presets. I like to start the boing. Okay. Let's fall in love. Interesting stereo width on that one. Let's fall in love. It's interesting how the chorus has a flangey Let's preset and the flanger has a chorus preset. Let's fall deep flange. In love. Let's fall in love. Ugh, I don't like that one. Drops. Let's fall in love. Yeah. Helicopter. Let's fall in love. Ooh. Panning flange. Let's fall in love. I think that'd be cool if you had to with or like Let's an auto pan to it. Um, resonator. I don't know. Let's fall in love. Not as bad as I thought, but I feel like I would have to EQ that a little bit so it's not too sharp. Siren. Let's fall in love. Eh, not too bad. Maybe some EQ in them. Underwater. Let's fall in love. Being honest, I'm not the biggest fan of flangers. Like, not saying they're bad, but I don't know. I'm just the sound of a flanger, just for me personally. Not just this plugin's amazing. But the sound of flanger has never Let's been. I don't know. When I'm DJing, sometimes it's not bad if I want to like transition. But for vocal, I mean, great. Maybe for some sense, it'd be cool. But let's fall in love. That's kind of cool. You could add some like creepy effect to it. Now, let's moving on, we got the free amp. So I know we're gonna be doing this on a vocal sample instead of a guitar. Uh, but let's just see how it sounds. Let's fall in love. Oh, that's cool. So I like the gooey actually of this one. Um, try. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Let's try jazzy. Let's fall in love. This actually would be cool to do on a vocal, I think. Let's fall in love. Ooh, so you kind of have some, a lot of feature on the sound. 
Ooh, I actually, that's actually really cool. Six, 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 six. So it's kind of cool how the GUI changes have between classic, clean, classic drive, and the modern drive. Let's fall in love. And then let's try the country. Let's fall in love. It's actually be really cool for, uh, I think for like a lot of elements in a track, right, to use this kind of amp. Being honest, though, I'm not a guitar player, so I feel like some of these settings... I mean, obviously, I, I get the general idea of them, but I guarantee someone who's uh, an expert guitar player could probably utilize some of this a little bit more efficiently. That's cool, actually. Going with, I think, um... Who did that? Uh, I think, was it Skrillex, I think? I, I know a producer was talking about how they sometimes would put, like, a vocal uh, sample through an amp, so it kind of had that uh, texture to it. I think it was... Let's I can't remember who did that, but I know what producer. What, I think it might have been Skrillex, actually. All right, so moving on. We got the Frequency Analyzer. Is it two? I don't know. That's... All right, so... Let's fall in so in case you haven't used a frequently, Frequency Analyzer before, there's a bunch of them, like the Vox and Go Span is probably the most famous one. This allows you to, as, you can, as it sounds, basically analyze the frequency. Typically, for a lot of these, you are able to send in two different signals. So what you can do is kind of compare, like, okay, does my kick and my bass... Are they conflicted in the frequency spectrum, right? Um, so you can see this in real time. So into an EQ. Um, there's not really any presets for this one. Let's fall in love. Or is there actually? Really? Hmm. Let's fall in love. Right. So I can kind of see things like that, but I usually would probably put two different things on here and then send them. Um, might. How would I do that? I think I'd usually do something like. Usually like group it maybe, um, and then send this to the group. And the, Let's see if this one does it. I haven't used this one yet. Sometimes setting up a frequency analyzer would be kind of annoying. Um, no, no, no. Uh, maybe not. Okay. So I have to mess around with this a little bit more. But basically, a lot of them, what you do is you basically send different signals to them or chains or buses or whatever. And then you can kind of analyze the frequency. It's very useful, actually, especially near like the mixing stages. I think especially for kick and bass style stuff or the things that you really don't want those frequencies to conflict. It's very useful just to have in general a frequency analyzer. Uh, let's unclip this now. Uh, so we're going to go to gain now. I already did a video about this one specifically and I'll explain why. So gain, pretty simple. Just let's fall in love. up or down. Right, that, that's about it. Uh, the one thing I'll say though, huge pro tip, because again, I like to give pro tips when it comes to these videos, not just about reviewing the plugin, is I'm going to make this zero again. Um, is when you're producing not only in Ableton, but any other DAW, right? So I'm doing this in Ableton DAW, so this works for any DAW. A lot of beginning producers, this is the volume will automate it. So let's say I want this to fade out. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to start this at zero, and we'll go like this, right? Let's fall in love. Right, so it slowly fades out, whatever. Never, ever, 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 ever automate the volume here. The reason why is let's say I'm like, you know what? Let's fall. It starts off too high. I just want to turn it down a little bit. Well, if I turn this down, you notice now the automation goes away. So the only way to do that would for me to be to turn this down. Now, at first, you may be like, oh, well, who cares? I just turn that down. But if you are automating or modulating or adjusting the volume over the course of an entire track, that can get very time-consuming. Like, say, for something like this, I'd have to go to each one and individually change it, which would be a hassle. So the best way to do it is to add in, basically, a gain plug. And you can use the stock one, right? I can use utility here to adjust the gain. Or if you don't have Ableton or your DAW doesn't have a gain one, I can use this. So that way I can pull this up here, right? So now when I do this, Let's fall in love. right? That way, if I want to adjust the volume, like I'm like, you know what? Let's Too quiet in the beginning. I just turn this up. If you notice, this stays the same because I'm now adjusting the actual volume of the whole thing. But the gain or the volume automation that I already adjusted is not being affected by this. Huge pro tip. Just, just trust me. Even in the beginning, especially if you just started producing and you're like, what's, what's the big deal? I, I can just adjust it. Just get used to, especially, I know a lot of uh, people following me do use Ableton. Just get used to using utility gain to basically do all your volume automation. Or if you don't have Ableton, use the uh, Blue Cat gain. Just, just trust me. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> just want to that quick side note. Let's put this back to zero. And we're going to go to our phaser now. So, similar to basically the course and the flanger. Let's fall in love. Behind the vibe. Well, that's kind of a cool name. Let's fall in love. I like, I like phasers when, when done well. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Deep phase. Let's fall in love. Funky. 
Let's fall in love. I like the funky one. I, I like it when it's a bit more subtle. Let's fall in love. Slow motion. Let's fall in love. Uh, see how it might... Let's fall in love. See, some of these I might want to play a little process. I think because, like, what I, for example, like the slow motion one. Let's fall in love. Because I was doing this, I'd probably do something along the lines of this. Right. Let's fall in love. And then I'd probably do like. Let's fall in love. Well, those harmonics. Let's fall in love. Well, maybe even. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Ah, oh, it's right there. So you can ah ah. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Jeez. Okay. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Right, so just subtle in the mid-range or something like that. Like, I'd probably do something along those lines because I don't like that sharpness. But again, that's why parallel processing, I've talked about this in a bunch of other videos, is so helpful. You have one chain that's only dry, one chain that's only wet, and therefore I can affect each one, as you can see here, and adjust each chain individually, which makes things a lot easier. This is super helpful. Uh, just trust me, parallel processing is an easy, uh, yet useful technique, right? Like, especially if I'm doing something with vocals, I usually parallel process... I have a dry chain, then maybe a wet chain of wet reverb, then maybe a wet chain of like wet delay, for example, right? It makes it a lot easier. And then uh, going to the last one, we last have a triple EQ. I'm gonna go to dual, or should I do, you know, what is the difference between dual and stereo? I, don't, I can't remember. Uh, uh, this one looks kind of cool. Okay, so look about the same, but this one looks cooler, so I'm just gonna go visually. It's probably not a good way to go, but I like the this. Pink thing. Okay, so. Let's fall in love. So I'm gonna delete this one. Let's fall in love. So I don't like that I can't see Let's it in real fall time. In love. I know. Um. Let's fall in love. I bet I can though. There's no way. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Interesting. Or maybe you know what? Maybe I'm gonna go with the stereo one. I can't remember, there's a different... Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in DJ love. DJ High Pass, obviously very important. Um, Let's fall in love. Is there any way to see it, love. actually? Um, Let's fall in love. I bet there Let's is a way to see it in real in time. Love. Okay, so I like that. It's cool. Let's fall in there's love. Really no way to, there's no way you can't see it. Let's fall in love. Um, Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Are you really not able to see this? Let's fall in love. Because it's weird that in the frequency analyzer I could. Let's fall in and I get. Love. I guess I could always. Oh shoot! I just clicked the bottom one. I guess I could Let's always do in love. this. And then, if you Let's notice fall now, in uh, love. we're gonna go here. Let's fall in love. And you notice the high end gets a little more sharp. But that's really strange to me. Oh, that's cool. I know you can just do opacity. Okay, that's cool. Um, but let's fall in love. Are you, can you really not see it in real time? That's kind of. I, I hope I'm missing something here, and it's a just let's one click, uh, one button that I can just click because that's really annoying. Let's fall in love. Let's fall in love. Hmm. Let's fall so the fact that I can't see it in real time is super frustrating. I feel like though there's gotta be something I'm missing. I'm really hoping I'm missing it. Maybe not. I guess you could always combine this with a frequency analyzer like I showed you, but I think that's kind of frustrating. But anyway, besides that one, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Surprising because you can't see it. As you see, the blue cut blue cap plug and pack is amazing. Tons of cool features on a lot of these, right? And like I said, for a lot of them too, especially things like the chorus and the flanger, I love the kind of unique settings and especially the sound quality, which is obviously the most important. So if you're looking for a great pack of effects you should throw into your DAW, rather than downloading each one of these individually and trying to find them, you hit one button, you download the entire Blue Cat pack, and you're ready to go.